everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. This week, I'll be showing you a quick technique that you can use for rendering very large images in 3D Studio Max. It can become very difficult to render something that's over, say, 10,000 pixels wide, because oftentimes your computer won't have enough resources to handle it. Let me show you how to cut your render into pieces. In this case, we'll be cutting one image into four pieces so that you can render them in lower resolution separately and then recombine them later. For starters, we need to get our indirect illumination set up. So I'm going to open my Mental Ray renderer panel, my render setup, and I'm using Final Gather, so I need to save my Final Gather map. Now in Studio Max 2009, it's very easy, but you should see something similar in older versions of Studio Max. I'm going to engage, read, write file, and I'm going to generate the final gather map file. So now that the file is generated, I'll lock it down and make sure that Studio Max only draws from that final gather file and does not redraw it for each piece. You'll also want to do this for global illumination if you're using it, but we're not using it in this case. So now that that's set up, ordinarily you would want to also reduce your, um, your render resolution. I'll be taking four pieces of 600 by 450 in this case. If you're rendering something very large, you might do something more like 3000 by 2000 and then work from there. So I'm going to close that. Now in order to get one piece of this single camera angle, we need to go to Views, Viewport Configuration, and under this window you'll see the Regions tab. Oftentimes you'll start with rendering method, you need to go to regions. Once you're here, you can select a blow-up region and that says take this perspective and only grab some section of it. In this case we want to start at 0, 0, which is the upper left corner, and we want a width of 300 and a height of 250. So I'll click OK. If I open up my, um, what is this panel? Rendered frame window, I'm still getting used to it. If I open up my rendered frame window and I select blow up region, you can see it appear in my viewport, which is just what I want. And this tells me, okay, I've selected the upper left quadrant of this render. And now I'll render it. And now that we have this image, we can save it out as just one piece. So we'll say save. We'll call this upper left JPG. Okay. And now we'll move on to the next section of this render. Again, we'll go to Views, Viewport Configuration. And we just need to copy over the new coordinates. So we'll say 300 by 225, because we've already rendered the first 300 and the first 225. So I'll click OK. Oops, that brought us down to the lower right corner. So let me fix that here. Viewport, zero. There we go. So one, two, three, four. Time to render again. OK, same thing as before. We'll want to save this out. So we'll call this upper right BG. Click OK. And so now I think you're understanding what the goal is. You'll want to reset your, your view every single time. So in this case, we'll now say 0 and 225. And that gives us the lower left. And you just render this and then do the same thing with the lower right. And there you have it. I can now save out the last image, lower right JPG. And I now have all four pieces of my otherwise much larger render. And I can piece them together in any photo manipulation program like Photoshop or GIMP. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. 
You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.